Hi, in this tutorial, we will see how to program an LCD from MATLAB that is connected to our Arduino Mega. So here you can see the connections and I uh, use uh, on potentiometer that is connected to the analog pin A0 of Arduino Mega. And this potentiometer that I used for uh, controlling the brightness of my LCD and the connections here. So you can get this connection from any Arduino. Uh, open my Arduino app. So open your Arduino and go to examples, go for liquid crystals and, and choose any example. I'm going to uh, open the hello world. So where you can see here, uh, you can get the connections as uh, where the pin has goes. So here you can see the RS pin is connected to the 12th pin uh, of the Arduino Mega and the enable pin is connected to the 11th pin and D4 5, D5 to 4, D6 to 3, D7 to 2, RW to ground, VSS to ground, VCS to 5 volt. The same connection that I have used here, there is no change in it. And I also used the same library functions and same everything here, I copied to my uh, S function. So here, uh, the library is already uh, pre built in our Arduino sketch. So we don't need to create any new libraries. But when we come to MATLAB, we don't have any predefined library for writing a function into our LCD. So we have to create a new function for it. Let's see how to create a, a new function whenever there is no uh, predefined function is available in our MATLAB. So I've created a new folder called LCD here. You can see a new folder that has named as LCD here. And what you have to do is you have to go to your wherever you install your MATLAB mostly you'll be having your MATLAB in your local disk and search for the MATLAB so here I have go to support packages click on this and go to this and you can go for the libraries and find liquid crystal so the reason I'm going for liquid crystal library is I'm gonna use uh, LCD functions go to source Copy these two header files to your uh, cre uh, newly created folder. There is the LCD folder that I have created here. So here I have copied my folders and I am going to open my MATLAB. So the same file that I am going to open here. I have a desktop LCD. Select the folder. So here you can see that I have open my folders here and I'm gonna create my function in Simulink go to Simulink library go for user defined functions and create a new model pick the S function builder and place it here so once you uh, get the S function all you have to do is double click on this and so number of discrete states is going to be 1 here and I'm going to name this S function as uh, LCD um, ok go to data properties so the input port I'm going to give it as a character val character underscore value so this is a name that I have given for the input port and we don't have any output port here so I'm going to delete this and go to data attributes check for the double type change the data type to unsign integer 16 bit so leave everything as is the same here and go to libraries uh, here we have to install the uh, we ha here we have to uh, type the header files so what are the files that we have uh, copied here we have to include this and what are the pins that uh, we have uh, used for our connecting our LCD to the Arduino Mega that we have to uh, initialize here so I already uh, created a file so this file is uh, same as whatever uh, we have in the same example as Hello World where we have included a liquid crystal dot hatch 
so the same thing we are going to uh, do here and we are going to initialize the what are the pins that we have connected uh, LCD pins that we have connected to the Arduino Mega so we are going to say this to our uh, S function so I'm going to copy this copy this function this function is same as whatever it is available in the hello world example so here I have created uh, two more things we have added to the hello world example that uh, we are saying that this is going to convert to a MATLAB file is uh, here we have a, included a file called MATLAB max file and here it's uh, end if these two lines are saying that it is going to be converted into a MATLAB file and outputs so here uh, going to give the output as The same output whatever we are using here you can see the output here wide loop where lcd.cursor is same as here and lcd.print here is a slight change it's because that when you upload this particular program into your lcd screen where you will get some uh, numbers uh, uh, from the restart so here we are uh, giving the character value so that is what our input is so here you can see that input is character val so the same thing as we are giving here the character val so whatever the input we are getting on this character val it will be uh, displayed on our LCD screen this is what uh, this function is explains to us and for the discrete output it is uh, also we, are, we can find it in the example so here you can see that in the example where we have beginning in the LCD setup. We have said that it is in a LCD uh, 16,2 type, and the same as uh, uh, they have printed as Hello World. I have printed as a potentiometer because that I have connected my potentiometer to that, and everything as it is the same here. So that's it, and we have build our uh, own library. So I'm gonna build this. So here you can see that it is compiling and we have created uh, some wrappers everything here so I'm gonna close here I'm gonna save my file save it as uh, LCD yes LCD port value so is going to be saved as LCD port value so I'm going to save it I saved my file so once your file wrapper file has created so this is a MATLAB file we have created right click and rename the file to from C program to CPP so it will say to the compiler that it is now a C++ program and you also do need to do one thing that is go on and find wide in your program so here you have a wide so find the wide and type x turn or quotes cap c and close it and wherever you you'll be having two wide in a, in a, a program so do the same here x turn Double quote C. Make sure you are doing this here and save this file. Close it. So we have done it, and we'll go again with the LCD. So we uh, created our LCD program. So this is a library which is not available in our Arduino uh, Arduino for MATLAB. So here uh, we have created our own function library. So we'll also need a, a function called. So if you go on and check in your package that uh, this kind of library is not there. So we are creating a, using a S function builder. And we are going to read a analog input. So that is the potentiometer that is connected to a uh, zero th uh, that is a uh, analog pin zero of Arduino Mega. 
this pin is 0 and the sample time I'm gonna give is 0 0.01 okay yeah and before that uh, one thing we have to do is we have connected our LCD to a unsigned integer so we need to convert this value to a un unsigned integer that uh, you can do it by typing conversion so pick the conversion data type double click on that just change here the inherit property value to unsigned integer 16 byte okay so we can connect this to our LCD screen so whatever the value that we are reading from the potentiometer will be converted into a skin byte number uh, and then it will be uh, sent to our LCD screen and we also need to watch it ourselves what are the values we are getting in our Simulink window so I'm gonna connect it to display so we have completed our program and we also connect a scope to this Let's connect a scope so we have almost completed our program all you have to do now is to go on and prepare the program for it before that I'm gonna connect my Arduino to my system so we can check it here the power is supplied to it and there is no uh, data in our LCD screen no nothing is displaying so I'm gonna enable the hardware and go to Arduino Mega so once that is completed go on and change it to external and make it as infinite value so the program is uploading to the hardware and uh, it has successfully uploaded so if I change the potentiometer value so you can see that it is changing So this is how we can create a function using our S function builder.